This will be my eighth untitled document and the last document I'll need to complete. Every last sentence, I'll speak this to you in confidence that I know now that we are the same heart. Because hurt is inevitable. And although hurt seems stronger than any of your last I love yous or any of your beautifully woven hurricane thoughts about how you feel, we still knock on each other's door to hear the heart's footsteps anxiously run closer to welcome us in. But before I let you love, take off your shoes, please. Destroy your shoes. Set fire to your fucking shoes because I've been walking bare through the muds of empty promises and frost-ridden blades of grass and rocks so sharp they could cut my souls and you'd be bled of me. Wholeheartedly swept away like a red Nile overflowing this whole damn city. I've hurt so bad I've had to catch my breath. Perchance I'd exhale every second thought I've had of simply abrogating away your existence of canker sores from all the deeply salted wish chips that I've wished for one more kiss or two more kisses of regretting turning myself inside out. A dandelion waiting for October until the wind dries out and all that's left is an unlovable bulbous stem. Children stomp on flowers like that. Well, most, that is. Now, this was going to be a sad poem, a I'll never hold you again poem, a dissolving of a parent, sweet nothings that tasted as sweet as anything real I've allowed myself to indulge in, but you stopped me, told me you needed time, that the clock in your room wasn't big enough for the hope that you had that one day things would work, that gears were grinding in these clocks, they're just too small to hear, and there are millions of grains of sand in this hourglass of years, and it's only been two weeks. But fears haunt the senses, making each touch feel like 500 volts, and I illuminate my darkest secrets. The amount of times I've resisted the urge to hold your hand many. The hateful words I've constructed plenty. The worth I had when you slipped and pulled my hand to the pavement pennies. And as you remove your vest and hang it up on the rack closest to my aorta, I want you to know that my heart is your home. And that we all fuck up sometimes. Even this January rains, even dandelions grow white and old, but that doesn't make them any less than they ever were. This is my eighth untitled document, the one that will outshine the seven bitter storms of words that I couldn't write. And I love you for stopping me.